Hello everyone, welcome back to Agri Edit. So in this video, we are going to talk about a very very important topic regarding the ICR counseling, which is what is this ICR PG and the PhD fellowship, and what is NDS fellowship. See, there is always a lot of confusion regarding like eligibility criteria for the JRF or the non-JRF, the NTS, the PG fellowship, the PhD fellowship. So I'll be discussing everything in detail and I'll be clarifying all of your doubts so that after watching this video, there will be no doubt that it will be left out. Okay. <coughs> so why the confusion is like, first of all, like there are two types of fellowship that is provided by the ICR, which is one is like merit fellowship, which can, which is earlier called as JRF or PG. But now this is now called as ICR, just ICR PG scholarship. Okay. And next for the PhD, it is called as ICR PhD, which is like JRF or SRF fellowship. So now the term JRF and the SRF, it is used to provide the fellowship who, to whom like it is for the PhD students and for the PG students, whatever fellowship is provided. Now currently it is called as ICR PG scholarship, okay, which was earlier known as JRF. And other than this, like ICR will also provide the other type of fellowship, which is like NTS fellowship. This is like national talent scholarship. Okay. So this is under different scheme. Okay. This is about the two different types of fellowship, which is provided to the students. If someone is attending the ICR counseling and taking the seats through the ICR counseling. So what is the confusion? Confusion is regarding the eligibility of the NTS and also of the ICR PG and the PhD fellowship. So earlier till 2022, there was a eligibility criteria, which our seniors always used to say, right? So whenever we, we used to ask our seniors, like what is the eligibility criteria for getting the ICR PG fellowship or the JRF, they used to say that the student should not pursue the MSc in a state where they have pursued their BSc agriculture. So this was a criteria till 2022. If someone has to get the fellowship, fellowship till 2022, they have to compulsorily take the admission or the masters from the university or the state where they have not pursued their BSc agriculture. The state should be different, the BSc and the MSc. This was in the till the case of 2022. But if you look at the latest document that is of 2024, so you can see that the entire section has been removed in that. So there is no as such criteria as of now to get the ICR PG PhD fellowship. So the criteria is very simple. If you have to avail the ICR PG or the PhD fellowship, which is called as the JRF or SRF, you have to simply come in the merit list. Merit list means like you have to be in the top ranker in the exam that is conducted by ICR. So if you are in the merit list for your subject, then you will be getting this fellowship and there is no other criteria, but no matter like where you have pursued your BSc agriculture. So no matter like whether you are pursued within a state or taking the seat outside the state in the same university or in the different university, in all the cases, you will get the fellowship purely based on the merit. If you are taking the seat through the ICR counseling, so that's compulsory that you have to take the seat through the ICR counseling. But other than that, there is no such criteria as of now. So this is clearly given in the ICR brochure, counseling brochure of 2024. So this year also, like since as soon as the counseling starts, they will release the brochure in the brochure same thing will be mentioned. So this is one thing you can make it clear here. Okay. So if you want to read the complete brochure of this ICR, so you, the PDF will be available. So you have to just again, fill the Google form. So that is available in the description box and follow some of the simple tasks and you will be getting this PDF to read and reading this PDF will be important. So it will give a lot of clarity regarding understanding about like how the ICR counseling conducts and uh, what are the rules and what is the eligibility criteria. It's not complicated, but still, if you can read it once, since you are free now, it's good for you people, okay? So how to get this PDF? Just fill the Google form that is available in the description box. If you have already filled it in the previous days, the same link. So if you have already filled it, so directly check your Google Drive link that we have shared to you. So in the Google Drive folder, like you'll be getting this PDF that is already uploaded, okay? So ha just have a one reading order. This is clear. Now talking about the fellowship amount. So I'll also clarify the fellowship amount as of now, like what is given to the students. Okay. So 
So currently for let's talk about the ICR PG students like the students who are taking for the PG the current fellowship amount is if you are if they are availing the ICR fellowship, PG fellowship the current amount is like 12,640 per month plus this is for per month and plus 6,000 per year for the span of how many years like maximum for the two years so this is the current amount that is provided to the students who are coming under the merit list and they are the students will be availing the icr pg scholarship or the fellowship okay so if the students are availing the icr phd fellowship so icr phd fellowship can be divided into three different years since the amount is different so for, for the first year of the phd students will be rece uh, receiving like thirty thousand per month so this is been revised recently so earlier it was 31 now it is 37 per month okay and for the next two years so this is now called as jrf for the first year junior research fellowship and the next two years they will be upgrading to 42000 per month per month which we call it as like srf fellowship okay and this is again for the span of three years the pg fellowship is for the span of two years and the phd fellowship is for the span of three years plus what is the contingency amount like the contingency amount is like 10000 per year this is how much is provided by the ICR if a student is getting under the merit list and is availing the ICR PhD fellowship. I hope like PG PhD fellowship amount is clear and also the criteria is clear. So there is no as such criteria other than taking the seats through the ICR counseling plus getting in the merit list. This is only the criteria. No other criteria exists for availing this fellowship. That's it. I hope like this is clear. So next about the NTS. See one thing to note between the PG and the PhD. So the for only ICR PG seats, we have two different schemes. What is one two different schemes? One is like PG fellowship scheme and other one is like NTS scheme. And for the PhD, there is only one scheme which is like ICR PhD scholarship that is called as like SRF or like JRF bar SRF. This is the only scheme. So if students like in the PG seats, like if they are by any chance, like because of their low, low rank or low marks, they are not able to come on come in the list of icr pg scholarships the merit list till each each and every student who is taking the seat in the icr counseling will be still be still eligible to get the fellowship which is called as national talent fellowship or the scholarship but there is some criteria for this so what is the criteria if you want to avail the nts fellowship then you have to pursue your msc in a state in the state outside your state domicile outside your to myself that's that is the main criteria if you want to avail the nts nts will be only provided if you are taking the seat for the msc outside the state where you are domicile state exists okay outside the native state or the domicile state only then you will be able to get this fellowship but students will again confuse sir what about the seat whether will you able to see i don't want fellowship but i want to stay stay in my state only whether I can get the seat to the ICR counseling, yes, you can get it. No matter it is for the ICRPG or the NTS, no matter what might be the rank, you can always get the seat in the same university, same college, or the same different university in the same state. Anything is possible. Only criteria is in order to avail this fellowship of National Talent Scholarship, you have to compulsorily pursue your masters in the state other than where your state domicile exists. And what is the fellowship amount for the NTS? For the NTS, the fellowship amount is like five thousand per month again it is for how many years like it is for two years but there is no contingency that is provided only the 5000 per month fellowship is provided for the two years for all the students who are missing the icr pg scholarship provided they are taking the admission in the state which is different from the state domain okay but what about phd students phd students will have only one opportunity that they have to come in the merit list and they have to avail the pg phd fellowship that is jrf bar srf but the other schemes are also possible for the PhD students for, from the other organization like they can go for CSR exam, they can go for UGC exam, they can go for DBT exams. So if they are able to key, crack these exams, then they will be able to avail this fellowship for the existing PhD that they are pursuing from the ICR counseling. So that is that provision is available for the PhD students, which is not available for the PG. PG has only two different schemes. One is ICR PG scholarship and other one is called as NTS fellowship. 
I hope like the criteria is very much clear to all of you. So if you have any doubts regarding the criteria, regarding the eligibility or regarding the fellowship, so let me know in the comment sections. We will be happy to assist and we will try our best to answer all your queries that we receive in the comment section. And if you feel that this video is informative, please like, share, comment and subscribe our YouTube channel. And in the upcoming videos, I'll be also covering the other parts like how many seats are available for the ICR PG fellowship seats and other things which are actually required for the ICR counseling. So like in the different parts, like till now, like I have covered most of the things which are required from the ICR counseling that you have to know. So the complete playlist is available in the description box. If you have not yet, not yet watched the video, do not miss it. All of them are in a very short form. In a single one minute, two minute, three minutes, I have explained in detail about everything. So if you are attending the counseling this year, next year or any of the upcoming years, so this video will be a lot more beneficial. So do not miss it. Please watch it by clicking on the link that is available in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this video.